Caves are mysterious places. These dark, often tight spaces tend to expose many people's fears. You'll never know what you'll encounter inside. The darkness and isolation also don't help make these places look more inviting. However, there are a lot of things hidden in these dark caverns. From ancient hieroglyphics to a cave mystery, here are the 15 strangest things found in caves. Number 15. Ancient Hieroglyphics in Ukrainian Caves To the untrained eye, the strange lines and shapes on these cave walls are nothing but features that naturally formed over time. The reality, however, is that these engravings are actually hieroglyphics carved by people thousands of years ago. In 2022, a Ukrainian explorer ventured into a cave system in the middle of Kiev after following the directions of his grandmother. He didn't expect to stumble upon a treasure hidden in the middle of the cavern system. In one of the cave systems in Ukraine are pottery and hieroglyphics left behind by people who lived in the cave many years ago. Numerous symbols were discovered all around the cave walls, with some of them dating from the 5th to 6th centuries BC. People may have occupied the cavern systems for a long time. Between the 7th and 6th centuries BC, the area was once a Hellenic Greek colony. During the first millennium BC, however, the Roman Empire gained control of the place. Along with them, Sumerians, Scythians, and Sarmatians stayed on the land. Aside from hieroglyphics, animistic images of animals and graffiti also covered the cave walls. The decoded symbols revealed that the cave was sealed by an ancient Varangian charm, symbolizing protection and long life. There are still many more secrets to learn about the hieroglyphics. But for now, this is all we know. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Cave of Letters In the Hall Heber in the Judean Desert is a place known as the Cave of Letters. Befitting its name, fragments of papyri and letters from the Roman Empire period were discovered in this place. The cave was first discovered in 1953, and after the first exhibition, many significant archaeological finds were unearthed. In 1960, Several human skulls and bones were discovered tucked in one of the crevices inside the cavern. One set of remains discovered in the cave belonged to a child dressed in a tunic, while another was found covered in a colorful mat. Coins and bronze vessels were also discovered around the area. But perhaps the most significant discovery were the Bar Kokhba letters. These 15 individual letters were primarily written in Aramaic and Hebrew, but some were written in Greek. The letters told stories of an exchange between a higher-up and their subordinate. A second excavation revealed the Babatha cache. It contained about 35 documents about legal issues. All of the writings in the cache are dated between 94 and 132 AD. One of the documents contained the agreement and details of the water rights in the area many years ago. Another letter contained a marriage contract to a second husband, along with a loan agreement. One of the most interesting letters, however, was written by a man named Sumeos. The letter addressed an issue about food, and the letter gave clues about Bar Kokhba's revolt. Between 132 and 136 CE, the Jewish people and the Roman Empire engaged in battles. At the time, tensions were high, but when the ruins of Jerusalem were erased in order to construct the city of Aelia Capitolina, as well as the second temple dedicated to Jupiter, the Jewish people began their uprising. Tension and violence ruled over the land for a long time before the battle between the two opposing sides ended with the destruction of the Second Temple and the Kedos War. Because of the documents discovered in the Cave of Letters, historians learn more about one of the most significant events in ancient Jewish history. Number 13. China's Natural Masterpiece There aren't a lot of places on Earth that look out of this world, but the Reed Flute Cave seems otherworldly. Located in Guilin in Guangxi, China, the Reed Flute Cave is one of the most stunning places in the world. Unlike other caves on Earth, the Reed Flute Cave serves as the attraction itself. It was rediscovered in the 1940s. A group of refugees trying to flee Japanese forces during World War II accidentally stumbled upon the cave. Word about the cave spread, and more explorers began visiting the cavern. After finding out about the stunning limestone, stalagmites, stalactites, and columns inside the cavern, it became a popular attraction. To further highlight the beauty of the formations, colorful lights were added to illuminate them. Now you're probably wondering where exactly this cavern got its name. Reeds grow on a large patch of land in front of the cave's entrance. These reeds are often used to make flutes and other small wind instruments. More recent explorers found interesting things inside the cave. 
including a stone with written passages that date back to 792 CE, around the time of the Tang Dynasty. Number 12. Prehistoric Shark Have you ever wondered what sharks looked like a long time ago? They really didn't change that much. In fact, they don't really differ that much from the sharks that we see today. A recent discovery might soon shed light on a shark species that lived millions of years ago. While exploring the Mammoth Cave National Park, the longest cave system in the world, scientists discovered a shark fossil, more particularly a number of shark teeth and sections of cartilage. Cartilage is a solid but flexible connective tissue that cushions joints and bones. Because of their texture, it's most often that they decompose. The remains were considered rare discoveries because similar specimens wouldn't have lasted hundreds of millions of years. The presence of bone and fossil fragments inside the cave gave scientists hope that an entire prehistoric shark selection might be hiding somewhere inside. Researchers were completely stunned by the discovery, as they didn't expect to discover remnants of the extinct prehistoric animal. Scientists believe the bones discovered inside the cave belong to a Cyvoda striatus, a giant shark that lived in the late Mississippian period between 335 and 340 million years ago. Unlike sharks we see today, these prehistoric sharks had prominent dorsal fins. These creatures grew larger than the great whites we see today, meaning some reached more than 20 feet in length. It's highly probable that more than 300 million years ago, these sharks grew to a staggering 30 feet long, easily earning them the title of the largest sharks in their species to evolve. Number 11. Toothy Snail I bet the last word you'll think of when describing a snail is toothy. After all, these creatures don't really have teeth, do they? Well, a new discovery revealed that not all snails are similar. These strange, horrifying, and rather creepy mollusks were discovered in Iberian Peninsula caves, and they're among the most terrifying creatures you'll ever see. It's a good thing that it's impossible to see their worst features using your naked eye. These snails were discovered tucked away inside the caves of the Iberian Peninsula. These snails were only a few millimeters in size, and they were almost transparent. This new species differed from others because of their pronged teeth. Unlike other snails with toothless undersides, this newly discovered species, known as Iberozospasum costulatum, has two pronged teeth. They might not look intimidating if you look at them with your naked eye, but trust me, they're a nightmare to look at them under the microscope. According to researchers, their monstrous row of teeth, also known as redula, are used for grazing and sifting through the dense mud found inside the cave. There are more than 80,000 species of snails around the world. Who knows? Stranger and creepier snails might be hiding in plain sight. Number 10. Witch Marks On the walls of a cave at Creswell Crags in the United Kingdom are hundreds of marks. Many of them seem like they were created out of anger or something sinister. These marks were discovered in the cave in 2018. Creswell Crags is an enclosed limestone gorge in the country that served as a shelter for humans during the Ice Age. The mysterious symbols carved on the cavern walls became the subject of intrigue for quite a while. After all, no one could decipher what they were supposed to be. It wasn't until experts thoroughly examined the marks and revealed that they were actually witch marks. During the medieval period, the caves were visited by humans, and to ensure that the caverns would remain free of witches and evil spirits, these marks were made. Protective witch markings are known as epitropaic marks. Most of the symbols included the letters V and M for the Virgin Mary. The limestone cave itself formed naturally for the past hundreds of thousands of years. The rocks inside, however, might have been in the location for 260 million years. When you think about witches, you probably imagine the old women depicted in fairy tales and movies. But the witches in the medieval ages are far from them. In the Middle Ages, Women who were midwives, herbalists, and healers were often accused of witchcraft by the Christian church. Just as they're seen as forces of evil today, witches in the past were seen as people associated with the devil. In some cultures, witches are associated with wise women who are only seen as evil because they're misunderstood. Today, witchcraft still exists, but luckily we're over the era where suspected individuals are burnt or brutally killed. Number 9. Animal Skulls a team of archaeologists was stunned when they stumbled upon a mountain of animal skulls in Cueva Descubierta, located north of Madrid, Spain. A long time ago, the cave was once home to several Neanderthals, members of a group of archaic humans who lived at least 200,000 years ago. 
This species is known as one of our origin species. In the past, they lived in limestone caves, which also effectively preserved artifacts and remains. This new discovery revealed that Neanderthals were a lot smarter than we initially believed. The fact they were collecting animal skulls and interring them inside caves suggested that they performed rituals and other practices. In the past, these archaic humans must have gathered together in one location to practice their beliefs. Archaeologists expect to collect more information about Neanderthals after more excavations. Number 8. Toothless Skulls A cave in Mexico yielded quite a horrifying discovery. In 2012, several locals exploring a cave on the Guatemalan border discovered something horrifying that made them immediately alert the local police. Upon arriving at the site, they discovered a pile of 150 human skeletons inside the cave. Initially, people thought they stumbled upon hard evidence of mass murder. After all, chaos and killings were quite normal around the Mexico-Guatemala border. But after archaeologists arrived on the scene, they realized what the skulls really were. It turned out that the pile of skulls was not really evidence of mass murder or a crime. Instead, the skulls belonged to people who were sacrificed a long time ago. After chemical analysis of the skulls, it was revealed that the bones date back to the pre-Hispanic period when natives in the area sacrificed people and created trophies out of their enemies' heads. However, the macabre discovery didn't end there. Upon examining the skulls, researchers realized that many of them were toothless. The ages of the victims varied. Three remains belonged to infants, but the rest belonged to adults. Strangely enough, most of the bones belonged to women rather than men. Now let's get back to the mystery behind the toothless skulls. We're still quite unsure whether the victim's teeth were all forcefully removed from their skulls or whether their toothlessness was simply because of another factor, like a disease or old age. It's highly likely, however, that the removal of teeth was part of the sacrificial ritual. After all, this isn't the first time toothless skulls were discovered in the area. In the 1980s, 124 toothless craniums were discovered in a cave in La Trinitaria, Mexico. It sounds like an incredibly harsh ritual, and we still don't know the origin of this rather bizarre practice. Number 7. Mysterious Cave Enigma Near Athens, Greece is a mountain known as Pentelicus. In this mountain is a cavern known as the Davilus Cave. It's about 197 feet long and about 66 feet tall at its highest. Davilus Cave is a well-known cave system that is surrounded by mystery. Since ancient times, the cave has been seen as a strange place. Since antiquity, people living near the area believed that it was a sacred site. It's often associated with the god Pan and his nymphs. Because the area is surrounded by an alcove with a pool of water and trees, it's also considered a place of worship by Christian hermits and eremitic monks. Today, the cave is mainly seen as an area where paranormal activity occurs. Trust me, there are a lot of stories surrounding this cave. Those who reached the cave entrance claimed that they heard strange and disembodied voices calling out from the inside. Some people claimed that they could also hear music emanating from around the cave when there clearly wasn't any source of music around the area. In the 1960s and the 1970s, a new wave of rumors surrounded the Davilus Cave as UFOologists and conspiracy theorists visited the area to hopefully gather evidence of alien activity. Just when you thought that the stories around this cave couldn't get any stranger, in 1977, a group of workers arrived at the Davilus Cave. They claimed that they were there from a secret confidential organization. They began securing the cave by enclosing the perimeter in barbed wire. The organization stopped people from visiting the cave, but their purpose for securing the area remains unknown to this day. Some claim that the workers were from NATO or the Greek military, but there's also a chance they were simply workers from a private organization. Some claim a portal to another world must be hidden inside the cave. Number 6. Bismon Cave Shell Beads What are the chances that sea snail shell jewelry beads served a greater purpose other than aesthetics in the past? In 2021, a team of archaeologists discovered several shell beads inside the Bismon Cave, located several kilometers from the present Atlantic coast of southwest Morocco. The beads were made from half-inch long sea snail shells. About 33 of them were discovered during the four-year excavation around the area. Each shell had a small hole drilled through one side of it, indicating that the beads were once held together by a piece of string. The origin of the shells can be traced as far back as the early Middle Stone Age, 
which occurred between 300,000 to 130,000 years ago. Some claim that people at the time simply began making jewelry, but experts believe there was another reason why they were compelled to craft jewelry in the first place. Some experts claim that people who lived during the Middle Stone Age created the shell beads for something more symbolic, for instance, a way to give themselves their very own identity. Number 5. 2,700-year-old facial cream. Archaeologists who stumbled upon the tomb of a nobleman in a small crevice in China discovered something rather unusual. It was a standard practice for people in the past to put the belongings of the deceased in their tomb. It was a way for people to honor the dead, so it wasn't strange to find all sorts of things in tombs. But in China, archaeologists discovered a 2,700-year-old facial cream inside the tomb of a Chinese nobleman. The facial cream was found among other items, including pottery and accessories. Now, facial creams stored in bronze vessels have been discovered in China in the past. However, most of them were discovered hidden in the tombs of women. It's unusual to find beauty-related artifacts in the tombs of men. A jar of cosmetics in a man's tomb doesn't make sense that much. What made this facial cream more special is its age. Thousands of years ago, people in ancient China put cave moon milk on their faces to make their skin look better and smoother. Moon milk is a powdery white substance obtained inside limestone or dolomite caves. In most cases, cattle fat is added to the cave moon milk to increase its effectiveness. I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty uncomfortable on the skin. But if it worked for people in ancient China and lasted for thousands of years inside a tomb, it must be pretty effective. Number 4. 24,000-year-old butchered bones. In 2017, archaeologists announced quite a shocking discovery. In bluefish caves in the cold Yukon of Canada, archaeologists discovered a pile of bones that date back about 24,000 years. After examining the bones closely, archaeologists realized something. The bones belonged to butchered victims. For a long time, it was believed that a group of people known as the Clovis were the first culture that lived in North America. However, the discovery of bones in Canada might challenge this fact. The butchered bones belong to mammoths, horses, bison, wolves, bear, fish, and caribou. What's astonishing is that the butchered bones predate the arrival of the Clovis people. This means that long before they arrived on the land, other settlers were already occupying North America. However, there still isn't enough information about this group of people. Number 3. Chiselhurst Caves The Chiselhurst Caves are a series of subterranean tunnels and caverns in the southeastern part of London. The deepest part of the cave is about 100 feet, and the cave system stretches for about 22 miles. Although most of the cave hasn't been mapped out after being submerged in water, the Chiselhurst Caves remain one of the most popular tourist spots in the nation. The caves first welcomed the public during the early 20th century. At the time, rumors about the cave being created by druids were popularized. However, the truth behind the caves is rather plain. In reality, the majority of the caves were made to mine chalk and flint. However, it's true that some parts of the cave date back to millions of years ago. One of the most astonishing things discovered inside the cave was the skeleton of a plesiosaur that was most likely trapped inside the cavern millions of years ago. Earlier artifacts were also discovered inside the cave system. After all, it served as a mushroom farm, then an air raid shelter at the height of the Second World War. Number 2. The Hellfire Caves of West Wickham Do you know about the psychological phenomenon known as pareidolia? This phenomenon leads our brains to think that we're seeing human characteristics in random patterns and stimuli. For instance, there might be a time when you're looking at a random stain inside your house, and suddenly, you see a human face staring back at you. If you visit the Hellfire Caves in West Wickham, located in Buckinghamshire, England, there's a considerable chance that you'll experience this phenomenon. Hellfire Caves is named after the infamous Hellfire Club. It's an organization made up of the elite, from noblemen to politicians. Although it sounds like a pretty reputable club, what happens inside isn't really that nice. One of the most popular circles was that of Sir Francis Dashwood and the Earl of Sandwich. Both of them met at the Georgian Vulture Inn throughout the 1730s. Their club's motto was quite simple. It roughly translates to, do what thou wilt. Again, the organization might sound noble, but Sir Francis Dashwood was well known for being a big prankster. In one instance, he dressed up as the King of Sweden, who was the enemy of Russia, while visiting the royal court in St. Petersburg. 
Now, I don't know about you, but that's a particularly hard prank to pull. Not because of the preparation needed, but because of the bravery required to pull it off. Aside from Francis Dashwood, other renowned figures in the 1700s were known to attend the Hellfire Club, including John Wilkes and Benjamin Franklin. The Hellfire Cave served as a rendezvous place for the organization. It was an exclusive place where many rather questionable things allegedly happened. Some claim that the members did nothing more but eat and drink inside the cavern while discussing the day's agenda. But there are rumors about the members performing rituals and other horrifying acts. And now it's time for today's topic. What they discovered inside a cave shocked the whole world. In the past hundreds of thousands of years, caves and caverns became the homes of prehistoric people. They served as a shelter for people to avoid wild animals. But they also had many more purposes. Caves provide animals with unique living conditions, unlike other places here on Earth. In fact, several creatures discovered living in caves are unlike any other in the world. For this reason, scientists have long wanted to explore these dark and secluded places. After all, these places are often filled with surprises. Scientists seem to be right, because this strange spacecraft was allegedly discovered in a cave in America. The exact location of the peculiar spacecraft is unknown, but many are intrigued by it. In this photo, you can see the spacecraft on top of a massive stone. I don't know about you, but that thing doesn't look man-made to me. Many argue that the object discovered was left behind by extraterrestrial creatures that visited our planet many years ago. With all the theories about extraterrestrials helping past civilizations, don't you think this makes sense? Do you think scientists should extend their search for extraterrestrials to caverns worldwide? Or do you think this is nothing but a hoax? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 1. Bear Clawed Cave Earlier this year, researchers exploring the Cueva del Arco complex in southeast Spain stumbled upon a massive cavern sealed from the rest of the world for millennia. Inside were massive stalactites and countless marks from bear claws. Cave bears are creatures who lived thousands of years ago. Just as their name suggests, these creatures settled inside caverns. These creatures were among the most ferocious land animals that lived during their time. However, they were also among the most inactive. After all, if it wasn't feeding season, they spent their time hiding and hibernating inside caves. Cave bears weighed anywhere between 880 and 2,200 pounds. These creatures resembled the polar bears we see today. Unfortunately, these creatures went extinct between 28,000 and 27,000 years ago. What do you think about these discoveries? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.